and she showed side pictures and it literally looked like she you know like there was a baby on, on her chest and she talked about how she refused chemotherapy and how she refused radiation and this was a medical doctor telling me who that that this was not a good thing and she said that she refused it because as a medical doctor she knew that the chemotherapy and the radiation killed the patients quicker than the cancer did and she actually stated that it was a race to see whether or not they can kill the cancer or kill the patient first and I'm like wow and and again being a good discerner of spirits I could tell that there was nothing in it for this woman there was no hidden agendas she had a natural desire just like I have a natural desire and just like this ministry has a natural desire to to put the truth out you know just just the truth the, the, the Word of God so I listened to her and I was list I listened to how they sent her home to die she refused chemotherapy the doctor made her sign a, a slip stating that she refused chemotherapy which they have to do by law they sent her home to die so she started studying natural remedies she started reading books and she started going to seminars and she found out that there are natural cures for cancer just like there's natural cures for other things there's um, there's natural cures for multiple sclerosis there's even natural cures for the HIV yeah. virus so but doing the natural cures for cancer she was actually able to 100 percent completely rid herself from cancer from natural methods by eating natural foods holistic foods by taking uh, natural remedies and today her body is 100 percent free of cancer and she actually is healthier than when she was before she actually got the cancer so so seeing that and, and what struck struck me most was how she went into detail about how they prepared the food, what they did to the food in terms of chickens, how they inject chickens with uh, injections to, to, to swell them up to make them larger, how they put um, growth hormones in the chickens so that when you eat the chickens, uh, it's going to appetite enhancer. So it, it, it makes the chickens want to eat more so they get bigger. But guess what? When you're eating the chicken, you're eating what the chicken ate. It's in, his, it's in his system. So now you want to eat more. And you wonder, what you're on your knees and you're praying, wondering, why can't I eat? Wait, why am I addicted to this food? Lord, please take this food out of my mouth. And again, I go back to what you said at the start of the program, is we perish for lack of knowledge. Having the lack of knowledge that the actual chicken that you're eating is getting you hooked. You're, you're actually addicted to the chicken based upon what's in the chicken. So that night in church, um, I didn't know what I was going to do. All I knew was that from that moment on, I was not going to eat meat, and that my whole life, my old, my whole eating habit would be different from that point on. So that was the start of my journey into um, into the holistic health. Yeah. Yes, and you know, I am just. I am so proud, and I just say, look at God, how God leads people together. I know this message is for just such a time as this. It wasn't this week on the news they were giving uh, information here in Jacksonville about the consumption of red meat, that it should be cut down to twice a week. Now, there's nobody to blame for these things. There's no blame put anywhere. And I know that our farmers are doing the best they can with what they have. That's the amount of land they have. That is the way they're trying. They're doing what they know how to do. So there's no blame attached. This is knowledge. This is what's coming out now. This is what you have to know to take it to the next level, to encourage this wonderful temple of God, because believe it or not, God does have all inside, right here inside this temple, what it needs to rejuvenate itself, to heal itself, to bless itself. The word of knowledge that we're giving you today is going to do all of that. We're very, very proud today to be able to bring you this show, and we're going to encourage you to go online 
and call for prayer because prayer works. It does all things. And we're going to encourage you to call Move of God today at 904-358-9097. But also, constant, if you would like to have the email address at the bottom of the screen, it's at the bottom of the screen, and you just write it down, and you can email him and discuss anything that we're bringing to you today with him. And he can direct you to the website. He's a wealth of knowledge. We've had such a wonderful time speaking the past couple of days. But more than that, he's a blessing to our life because he's speaking into us rejuvenation. He has showed us so many wonderful things that I know are going to be healing to us and our spirit. And we're sharing, and we're excited about the friendship friendship and where it's going to go because we love God and that is what this ministry is all about. Taylor, I, I have a million questions, but I, I've jotted a couple of things down here and uh, I know you. the synthetic medicines are something that we're trying to encourage you to seek out holistic doctors and we are also trying to, uh, we're trying to find out what can people do to educate themselves uh, I know there's a wealth of books, but what can you recommend that we do to educate ourselves on this holistic venture that we hope everybody will start looking into from this day on if they're not already? Another excellent question, Pastor. Uh, first of all, um, I, I would encourage everyone, um, if, if you're listening to this program, then you are, you, you're a spiritual person. You are, you are in the Word in some fashion. Maybe you were in the Word or are coming back, or maybe you're deeply entrenched in the Word, uh, Christianity. What I would encourage you to do is to seek out knowledge. It's, it's amazing when, when you pray and when you meditate and when you ask God for guidance, He will bring things to you. You will be in a bookstore, and you'll walk down aisle number 7 in Borders Book 